Welcome, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, monthly reading for the month of April 2018 and this is going to be for the star sign of Sagittarius and uh, let's see what's in store for my Sagittarians out there. I'll be pulling three cards for general, three cards for a career and three cards for your love life. I'll be pulling uh, one card from the Marantz and Jalaika cards and I would be um, taking clarifiers from the play cards. So let's see what's in store for Sagittarians out there. Hope you have a wonderful month ahead. Um, I'm recording this video on the 28th of March, I believe. I believe it's 27th or 28th. I'm not sure though. Let me check because I did. Uh, I just did Scorpio reading and I couldn't, you know, um, I don't remember. But anyways, I, I cannot check it right now. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> maybe it's 27 or maybe it's 28th. So let's see um, what's going on for sessions in the next month of um, April 2018. I feel like giving it one more shuffle. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Ah, two cards want to come up for your love life. I will take the two. Okay, um, let's take one card from the Romance and Jericho cards. I just did Scorpio and now it's like Sagittarians. I would be doing Virgo next and then I will be, you know, following the rest of the star signs. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what are the general energies for Sagittarians. Wow, Three of Cups. The hair bun and the seven of pentacles. Okay. Seems like you are having celebrations going on in your um in your life. It's like maybe you are the one who is getting married or somebody you know is getting married and it's like you know you are having good time, you are celebrating um the good news that you receive when it comes to I do believe the good news is some uh, definitely regarding the love life of somebody. It's more like, you know, it has more to uh, more like emotional kind of a feeling to it. And it's it's somebody very close to you. Maybe your you know, uh, siblings or maybe um, your cousins or maybe, you know, somebody you are very close to. And it's like, you know, you are celebrating it. Um, or maybe, you know, it could be that, you know, it could be you yourself, you know, um, that I will, you know, see when it comes to your love life cards. Uh so, but as of now, as a, as your general energy, it's like, you know, you would be celebrating um, love and happiness in your family and yeah, with your close friends or relatives. And um, it's like, um, that would be the theme for the month. And I do feel like, you know, um, you would be feeling, um, uh, even though you are emotionally very happy, uh, but you you would have to work real hard. It's like, you know, you would have to, maybe you would have to take out time from the celebrations or from, you know, spending time together with your families and friends and everybody close to you. And uh, you would be feeling stuck because of the work that you would be doing, because uh, the work that you are doing, it's like, you know, you are feeling the pressure of work. Uh, during the time of celebration it's like you know you, that is kind of you know um, you wishing that you know see the man over there it's like you know <laughs> um, it's like you know you are wishing I wish I was not working I wish I was you know as free as you know or I wish I was not working or maybe I wish I was you know I was the one getting married or if 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 if, 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 if it's already you and it was it must be that you know I wish I could you know take some time uh, some days off from my work because you don't want to work it's more like, you know, you are in the mood to celebrate. You are in the mood to um, um, enjoy. You are in the mood to um, celebrate each and every um, day of your life, uh, doing all these things that you are doing in the start of the month. And by the end of the month, it's like, you know, you are getting back into the flow of working and, you know. Um, so maybe, you know, the, the wedding that you are attending is, um, or the, you know, the celebrations that you are having is, you know, um, going to end by the, you know, mid, um, not mid, I would say after 20th of uh, April, you know, you would be coming back to your work life. And it's like, and you're wishing that, you know, that thing didn't, you know, end this, you know, soon because you wanted it to last. You wanted this joy and the happiness that you were surrounded with. You wanted this to last. And it's it's like, you know, you're celebrating. Maybe you are, you know, maybe you are the one who... Um, 
who is getting married and it's like you want to um uh you just you just want to have good time you just want to have uh, you know you don't want the celebrations to you know get finished this soon you want it to last forever and ever and ever and it's like maybe if you're you know if you're attending somebody else's um wedding it's like you know you are wishing to get married too because you don't want to work if if you know um if you um if you are female that, uh, obviously because in you know many of um uh cultures you know females usually don't work after getting married and it's like you know maybe that's that's why you don't you are wishing to get married because you don't want to work <laughs> and um let's see what's going on in your career life the empress the king of pentacles and the two of pentacles okay um so uh, it's it's kind of um it's it's more like you know uh I don't know. I would like to take the, you know, I would like to um see your love cards too when it comes to, you know, I would I would like to read them all together. Okay. Hmm. You do have um three of swords, four of swords, uh five of wands and the nine of wands for your love life. And um I feel like you know you are um I would like to take clarify for these uh these you know cards and uh your work life because it's like a, a you know you start off the month with the positive energies when it comes to your love life things seem stuck um even though you know you feel like you want something uh but things are you know going slow and then you're fighting over things and then it's like um you are you know um putting your guards up again and it's like then you have the wedding card in your you know romance and oracle cards this situation involves marriage um uh, if i remember it correctly you know um i fe i felt like you know i uh, you had somebody from your past coming up and i do feel you know the whole situation that you are dealing with in your love life is um somehow related to that person it's like you know you maybe you, you know you are the winner um you come as a winner but that relationship is going nowhere i do i do feel like that i will definitely take a clarifier because i do feel like you know you are you know you are you don't want it you don't want the tensions that uh, you know um this relationship is bringing in for you and it's like that's why you choose to get married to somebody new it's it's like the marriage happens out of nowhere and it's like you know you get a proposal and you feel like you know okay i i'm ready to go for it because i don't want to wait on for this person because even though i know i'm right but this person is you know uh this person is uh not giving the commitment that you want is not you know being faithful to you is is not being um i don't know there is something fishy about this relationship maybe it's it's because you had a past with this person it's like you know there are so many things that you need to talk about but that person is um either that person or you are not you know ready to uh you know you are not ready to um if you are not having the fight it's like you know you are having this inner conflict because you don't want fights you don't want uh things to go back um back to bad and you are you know kind of uh conscious about it and now you are you know not letting your all uh, you are not ready to give your all into this relationship and then you are getting married and it's like you know you you wish maybe it's like you know you wish to get married and um, but i don't see you getting married to this person in this reading and i do feel like you know it's somebody different because you have the empress and the king of pentacles and i feel like you know maybe uh maybe you are um i would like to take a clarifier first and then i will say what i have to say and i do feel like you are not going to be working um in the later month of this uh april like uh, maybe at the end of the april you might be you know switching your career or you might be you know thinking to leave the job that you are doing or leave the career that you are doing uh career that you are having So I would like to see who the empress is here. Okay. 
and I do feel like I'm not, you know, uh, talking about uh, all the Sagittarians out there. I feel like, you know, it's uh, getting limited to some people because I do feel like, you know, the the set of people who are um, females, especially, and or even if males, like if you are, you know, uh, somebody who is getting married then I feel like you won't need to work because you would be given everything, you know, you would be provided with everything that, that a person would need and you would not be working. You would be getting money, no doubt about it. It's like, you know, you would be uh, getting money, but there is no work. There is no work that you would be doing. And I do feel like, you know, you are seriously getting married to somebody new. It's not the same person that you um had a past with it's somebody new and he is or she is very rich financially secure, secure. maybe a well uh well maybe they do have their own business very well established because it's like um you would not need to work after you get married to this person and i do feel like you know um since i'm recording this reading at the end of uh, this month and it's like uh I would like to take clarifiers first because I don't I don't feel like you know stopping but it's like you know I need to see what's going on for first what's okay okay so uh like I said I don't see you working um you would not need to work. It's like, you know, if, if most probably if you are, you know, a male watching this video, a uh, male, you're watching this video. Um, obviously, like, you know, it depends on the situation that you are right now. Maybe you are with somebody who is very, you know, financially secure that you would uh, not need to work hard. Or maybe you are the one who is going to take care of their business that they are having. So, but I do feel it's more connected to the female, uh, female Sagittarians out there. It's like, you know. You have uh, everything that you could ask for when it comes to your uh, materialistic needs. And you would not be working. Um, if, even if you are working right now, by the end of this month, you will be, um, you will be out of this, you know, uh, career or out of this working environment that you are in right now. Because you would have somebody in your life who would be very financially stable and you would be taken care of by by that person and i do feel like i would definitely take a clarifier for your love life because i do want to see what's going on uh when it comes to your love life because i i do seriously feel that the person that you are getting married to is um or if you're not getting married then it's a, it's an advice do go get married and it's like you know uh don't waste your time on this person because this is uh, not leading anywhere so don't waste your time and go get married to the person because um because this um this you know the person from your past that you that you might be you know dealing with is not good enough to stay with because it's it's going to give you only um anxiety only fights inner conflicts and it's going to um it's not leading uh towards any you know uh, anything better or anything good so just go ahead with marriage like do uh, do ask uh, your friends to help you with it. Do ask your family to help you with it. Find somebody good. Go get married and have a happy married life because I do see you celebrating it. Um, if it's you and um, if it's you, it's like, you know, you are. Um, and like I said, you know, if you are the one who is not, you know, uh, who doesn't have to get uh, work anymore, it, it might be the case that you would be, you know, um, missing your work life. If, if you uh, if you get married to this person who is very rich or who is very stable maybe you know the with the seven of Pentacles it's like you know y you could be um, you could be missing out the time when you would uh, you were working but there is no um, um, if, if, if that is your situation then you don't need to you know think about it because you are having a very good time with your friends and family and you are enjoying that too but uh, for some reasons, you're you know getting caught up in the past because you do miss your work life or maybe you miss being uh, independent. Um, but don't do that because uh, you are having a good life. You don't have any financial or any other kind of uh, um, issue. Then there's no point, you know, 
but yeah you can you know miss your uh, colleagues or uh, the time that you had at work you could uh, hang up with them you could you know call them up and meet at some place so it's like there is nothing to be sad about just you know uh, enjoy your life because there are so many happy be happy moments to come and there are so many happy and joyful times to enjoy with the person so let's see what's in store for your love life as a clarifier for i would first take a clarifier for the nine of wands i want to see you know what happens after nine of wands like is is that the same person that you're getting married to or are you are you you know giving up your gods to get you know married to this person or are you think do you think that you are ready to get married to this person that you are having from your past do you think that is the one okay so yeah uh the person that you are dealing with is the one this person is going to change don't think negative um you are getting married to the same very person and it's like things going to change uh because this person came when i was doing your uh, career reading the same card came up king of uh, diamonds and it's like you know the same person is coming um this is the same person that you are dealing with right now so um i would recommend with these cards here i would definitely recommend you uh leave the fights or the past that you had with this person don't you know the, there is so much negativity in the cards that came up for your love life and it's like i i do feel like you know they all are um from your past because it's just that you are now thinking about it and you are you know you're not sure because uh, because what this person had done to you and it's like you're not sure should you give it to uh, give it another chance or no um but decide it take your time uh, you know decide and i would just recommend you to be positive don't um don't just you know get caught up in the negative past but you can you know you can think about the good things that you had with this person and once you start doing that you would attract more good things to be thankful for so just you know leave the past behind because this is not good this is not positive but as a clear clarifier which was coming next after the 9 of wands is happiness with this person this person is bring going to bring you stability in your love life is going to give you a happy home so just don't get caught up in the past uh don't fight with this person over the past don't uh you know don't uh, don't talk about past much i would say because you are getting married to this person and you are going to have a very happy future with this person so uh whoever it is um the you know the situation has changed now this person is ready if if he was not ready to give you uh, he or she was not ready to give you the commitment now he is ready to give you the commitment and that is why you are you know celebrating it and that is you know um that is why you don't want to work anymore because it's it seems like you know you don't want to work anymore and you want to you know just get into commitment and get get into the wedding thing and um, you want to you know just relax and have fun but when it comes to your love life you, you might be you know you might be continuing your work because you don't want to sit back home and think about the negative past that you had with this person and if that is the only thing that that is keeping you to continue your work then continue it for some time till the time you can you know leave the past behind because if you stay home and if you don't work and if you are doing nothing at home then you would be getting caught up in the past so it's good that you are working right now if you are if you are in this situation because i do believe many people out there must be stuck in a situation like this because this reading was something um it it had its own you know um ups and downs i would say because um uh, but yeah i i'm glad that the situation clarified in a pretty well uh, mannered because i do see you you know um keep yourself busy at work i would suggest you don't leave your work before you get married to this person because if you do that because that will make you um think about the past that will make you uh, have anxiety that will make you have um, negative feelings from you know for this person so don't do that stay uh, stay your uh, you know keep yourself busy with your work and once you are you know into this commitment with this person once you know that you are getting married and you have you know finalized the dates and everything then just you know quit your career because that's what i see in the cards for you for this month 
and um, you might leave the job you might you know uh, move in with this person or um, you know uh, and you you decide to you know have a happy ha happy home life uh, after getting married to this person so um, so yeah that's pretty much it i do hope and wish uh, you all the best and i do uh, wish that you you know everything that you choose brings you lots of happiness and abundance in your life and uh, stay positive because you know, you don't need to uh, focus on the negative things from the past. Focus on the good things and only good things will happen in your life. And um, hope you have a, a good month ahead. Um, so this is pretty much it. I would be back with the... Um, I think I would be doing 10 days reading from... Uh, I would be, you know, this is for the March... Uh, sorry, uh, this is for the April uh, 2018. And I would be doing, you know, uh, reading from the... 10th of April towards the 20th of April and then I would be doing another reading for the 20th till the 31st or 30, uh, 30th of the April because I do feel you know it is more accurate when it comes to uh, energies for the month because it gives you a clear uh, vision about the things that you would be dealing in that particular days because um, monthlies and mid monthlies are you know a broad way of um, explaining things but when it comes to you know given uh, giving um, you know, uh, I do believe that they they are, you know, they kind of uh, give additional um, guidance towards the um, things that you are doing in your life. So I would be choosing that. But in case you don't want me to do it this way and you want me to do mid-monthlies rather than going for 10 days, uh, 10 days and uh, then another 10 days for the month of April, then do let me know. And do like, subscribe and share if you uh, if the reading resonated with you. Thank you so much for your love and support. And um, you can always reach me out for personal readings on my email ID and uh, I will be getting back with you, uh, back to you with the details that uh, about everything. So yeah, I uh, hope you have a blessed month ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.